Leicester Square in London for BFI's 59th Annual Film Festival. I'm here with Kate Blanchett at the premiere of Truth. So, are you excited to see the film tonight? I, I am. And I'm here for XTV News at Comic Con. And where did you get all the costume pieces from? That's a really nice jacket. How, how does this do with the ladies? Um, I'm here with Tristan Gatwood. Um, he's the programs manager for the festival. So I'm here with Ian from Masquerada, one of the best games that I've seen at EGX. I'm Adam Smith. And I'm Cara Ludlow. And this is Freshers Week Live. Society has broken down. It's Halloween. No, 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 um, it's, it's um, Christmas live. So uh, we're currently joined by a little elf who is helping us um, bringing presents of a working monitor. Benjamin Peter James Bradshaw. 25,062. You can say that we're the quick stick British something like that, and we are. But it is reflected. It is reflected. So where is that money going? I'm Harry Shepherd for XTV News, and I'm here at Stepco Hill, which is a location on Exeter's very own Monopoly board. And I've got a very, very special guest here with me today. I've got, I'm so excited. I've got so many questions to ask Mr. Monopoly. How are you doing, Mr. Monopoly? Good, good. I'm Priya Rai, reporting for XTV from the University of Exeter's Vigil for Humanity. And it is absolutely stunning to see so many people at this such a, such a lovely university to be at and it really shows tonight, it really shows. We have, as of now, survived all Beirut terrorist attack. We can ask for the word to think. Beirut is as important as Beirut. Hello, I'm Jack Morgan Jones here with XTV at the Thatched House where Ben Bradshaw will be arriving shortly the newly elected Labour MP for Exeter. And you're right, it's going to be quite a challenge for me. It's going to be quite a challenge for me to get the necessary uh, nominations because I don't have a strong regional block of Labour MPs behind me. Who did you vote for? I, I vote, voted for UKIP. Did you? UKIP. Wow. UKIP. Why, why, did you, why did you vote for UKIP? Oh, it's the best one going. We should all have them and everything. It was brilliant. Do you not think they're a bit racist? Not racist at all. The black <laughs> is a A time machine? I should build a time machine. Don't get into bingo. It's shit. I literally just material. Oh come on, old man. Time is money. And don't get into golf. It's shit. Oh, and I've heard bingo is pretty bad as well. Mm. I do like the senses. I do like the senses. What a fucking panini melt Morgan Spurlock is. I'm calling you out, mate. One super size McDonald's. With their single, The Way You Touch Me Makes Me Tingle. He's got some tits, but I just prefer them on women, to be honest. And the bitches. Can you stop calling women bitches? I'm pretty sure that's why we're not allowed back on the one show. Rent a friend, alright? It's gonna be this new subscription service. You pay for different premium models of friends. You come into my store, you see one in the window, you're like, I don't want to be lonely anymore. Hey, you can't put a price on friendship. But it will be two grand. Is that Sting? Is that Sting? Shark Sting! No, I don't want to speak to Madonna! D You've got 24 hours to leave the country. Yes, I'll be wearing trousers. Stop asking me that, it's embarrassing. Are you guys all here for the premature ejaculation counselling? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, why are you here? The meeting doesn't start for another half an hour. Well, we all came early. They used to be up at dawn for me. Tell me, suit, have I been naughty or nice? Some of them were bits. That's the point, isn't it? Look after ourselves and nobody else! Fuck you. What the fuck do you do, Sam? Why are you not going to know it? I'm afraid we're going to have to do a full system restore. We'll have him revived and sent you from under. You uploaded the wrong brain! Mummy? Condescending bitch! Oh, spare me that, you chained bullshit. We live under the same fucking roof! I'm pregnant, 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 pregnant. Mum! 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 Wherever! Please. Please go home. Or, or call me. Please, Mama, I love you. I'm a great fan of your work. 
He's expedient, that's for sure. But ladies, not in that. Way. Please welcome the postman. You are the lucky ones today. Lucky? I, I could be dead. Well, not dead, per se. It's good, no? No, it's not fucking good. Well, I guess it's down to your own moral compass, isn't it? Why did you leave? Was it because of me? It was because of me. My name is Alex. I am 20 years old. Uh, I'm a third, third year historian. Because I've never been on a date before, I have this ideal uh, view of a date, which is romantic. But because I'm new to it, there are areas of relationships and the idea of the date that I've yet to explore, so... So welcome to the very first episode of Master Bake. Each week we're going to bring in a new student, cooking a new recipe that they like to cook in their university kitchen. What's Lunch with the Lecturer about? We're just trying to engage students in conversation. That's right. Saying so, uh, that there is an imbalance of funding. Mm -hmm. Good morning, world experts. This is News for Beakers. In fact, in September of this year, 380,000 migrants have only landed in Europe. With my grandpa, you know. Hello and welcome to the Christmas edition of Cameo. The films that we hope we might get finding our stockings this Christmas. But it's Doctor Who everyone loves. No, no, Doctor Who. Christmas on 34th Street. <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street. Fuck it. Hello and welcome to NASCAR People's Choice Award 2015. I'm here with the wonderful Alex Glynn. I'm Alistair Heath. And you're, uh, we're coming to you live from XTV down in Exeter. And the winner is... XTV. Right. We're sorry, we're currently having a technical issue. I don't know what the technical issue is, as that seemed like it was actually working really well. Now I'm assuming all you kids have seen Jurassic Park. Whoa. There's a stegosaurus in my bedroom. No man should have that power. Good thing I'm not a man then. There is no version of this where you get to walk away, where you get to go home scot-free. Free. Oh, you want to go after this Corvette burning bastard old school? Off the rack. I can do it. The only reason I murdered that tubby Tom Selleck Magnum P.I. looking motherfucker was because it was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Rando. Put the ball in. It's all yet! It's got in! Exeter 2 2. And now it's into the midfield. Exeter really needs to get grips on this. And it's a brilliant ball through the bar. And it's good pass to the goalkeeper. A bar, a bar has scored the first game tonight. Bar to I'd like to welcome Rick Aaron Burke. So when somebody takes 50% of your income, they're taking 50% of your life. Welcome to the University of Exeter Student Guild 2016 Sabbatical Election Results Party! And staying with us for the evening, we've got Julian Daniel Pico. He's been following every twist of the campaign and can fill us in on what tonight's results will mean for Exeter. The newly elected Student Guild President is Toby Gladwell. <laughs> if you had one thing to say to your campaign team, what would it be? You're amazing. Welcome to Press Preview. I'm Helena Leslie, and I'm here with James Beeson and Josh Mines from Expose. Tonight we have Exeter's first street food market. What takes your eye at Exeter Street Food Market tonight? Uh, you do, Alice, actually. Um, what, what's been your favourite segment of the show, ignoring all of the ones that had technical issues? Welcome to XTV's Weird News, the show that keeps you up to date on all the strange and spectacular goings on in Exeter and Devon. No, Andrew! You tune into XTV expecting something coherent, <laughs> expecting something funny. We won't give you any of that. I mean, that's what I've got to tell it. And I can't say what we're going to do next year, but I will tell you one thing. We just can't wait to find out. <laughs> 